In this video, we are going to discuss about testing purpose, testing development, testing organization and its committee, the roles and responsibilities of material engineer and selection of material. Testing of materials its purpose. Why we need to test a material? Testing of material is used to determine the properties of the material using machines and instruments which will be working in mechanical, physical and chemical principles. Material testing may include the method that obtains the information about the structure of the material. It helps us to check the quantify whether a material is suitable for a particular application by destructive and non-destructive methods. In production process, it helps us in checking the quality of initial intermediate stages and to check the finished products. The samples are checked to find out the ability of the material to resist deformation under the action of temperature and chemical or machinability. Mechanical methods test the material's ability to resist tension, compression, impact, bending, twisting and shearing and its hardness and fatigue level. Physical test determines the electrical conductivity, heat conductivity, cold resistance, magnetic properties and other properties. Chemical test determines the chemical composition. For example, XRD, X-ray diffraction method, you can check the material composition and the ability to withstand chemical action that is oxidation. We can check the oxidation residents also. For example, if the iron content is more, we can tell oxidation that is the material is subject to oxidation. Mechanical methods test the material's ability to resist tension, compression, impact and twisting moments. Structural test like metallomicrographic test determines the macrostructure and microstructure and crystalline structure to aid the research. The properties like high specific strength, high specific stiffness, long fatigue life, high impact strength specifies the material is strong. Similarly, the properties like low density and high strength to weight ratio signifies the light weight of the material. The creep resistance, the wear resistance, the corrosion resistance, the wear resistance, the temperature resistance and electrical resistance determines the resistance property of the material. The dimensional stability and non-magnetic parameters also can be tested. Similarly, the material can be checked for durability. Similarly, the low maintenance cost indicates the long term durability. Testing in research and development. To aid the research and development, the testing are used in developing the new machines and instruments. Second one, developing or modifying the existing machines for quick and accurate measurements. Developing new method to obtain the information about material structure. Testing organization and committee. Standard test methods are established by national and international bodies as International Organization for Standardization that is ISO with headquarters in Geneva and American Society for Testing and Materials that is ASTM Philadelphia. There are other organizations like NABL that is National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories, BAS, Bureau of Indian Standards, ASME that is American Society for Mechanical Engineers, ANSI, American National Standards Institute, AISI, American Iron and Steel Institute, DIN that is nothing but German Institute for Standardization, JIS, Japanese Industrial Standards and British Standards Institution. Roles and Responsibilities for a Material Engineer There are different roles performed by the material.
material engineer one is design process which involves drawing the basic design and proper selection of material based on the parameters like mechanical loads wear electrical insulation property thermal insulation property cost and availability selection of proper machining process number 2 is proper choice of substitute materials when needed suppose if there is a uh, more or two materials are there we want to select a substitute material number 3 contributing and evaluating material test results number 4 studying and composing material data sheets before placing an order number 5 enhancing the performance of the material by carrying out research activities material selection material selection is one of the most challenging task for the material engineer by choosing a particular material for a particular component or a particular part for a machine structure the engineer must be in position to choose the optimum combination of properties in a material at a lowest possible cost without compromising the quality procedure for material selection the selection of appropriate material and its subsequent conversion into a useful product with desired shape and size can be a complex process the this process involves the experience of the material engineer the sequence of activities performed are design material selection process selection product evaluation and product redesign selection of specific material the selection of specific material for a particular use is a very complex process however one can simplify the choice if they if they know the details about operating parameters manufacturing process functional requirements and cost the table shows the different properties involved in manufacturing process such as plasticity malleability ductility machinability casting properties weldability heat tooling and surface finish the functional requirements like strength hardness rigidity toughness thermal conductivity fatigue and electrical treatment and aesthetic look cost considerations are raw material processing storaging of material manpower requirement special heat treatment purpose if there is inspection process packaging properties taxes and custom duties the operating parameters nothing but the machine or the material is going to work in certain environment in which environment the high pressure environment temperature environment flow environment corrosion environment weathering and also the biological effects the choosing the material for a component there are different factors the factors are broken down into following areas material properties performance material cost and availability processing environment under material cost and availability it can be subdivided into material must be priced appropriately material must be available what are the factors involved in selection of material are the factors affecting the selection of material is component shape and size dimensional tolerance properties such as mechanical thermal electrical and tribological property fabrication requirements service requirements cost and availability of the material component shape and size usually the component shape and size has a greater effect in selection of material for example if you want to choose the best production method we can choose die casting method so the choice of the material can be you can select the material which has the lower melting point for example we can choose aluminium zinc magnesium and thermoplastic material then if the strength and operation temperature is a choice we can eliminate zinc and thermoplastic because aluminium and magnesium have higher strength and high operating temperature so based on this approach we can select the material dimensional tolerance for example the manufacturing ability of the material some material can be machined or fabricated to the closest tolerance other material like cast iron their tolerance is 1 mm for example in plastics you can go the tolerance in be microns so dimensional tolerance plays an important role in selection of material 
then properties like mechanical properties hardness density tensile strength impact strength thermal properties like thermal conductivity and also coefficient of thermal expansion electrical properties like electrical conductance and the tribological properties like uh, coefficient of uh, friction and also specific wear rate that is nothing but the inverse of wear resistance plays an important role in selection of materials fabrication requirements for example methods of processing a material also affects the properties of the component for example the forged components can be stronger than the casted components different types of working process may also involve different types of material structure for example investment casting will prov provide a precise dimension at low cost in comparison to the machine operation fabrication requirements are castability that is ease in casting a material weldability that is ease in welding machineability that is easy to machine and formability easy to form and hardenability easy to harden a particular material service requirements service requirements nothing but needs dimensional stability for example the particular material want to work in a high temperature environment if you are selecting a material which has high coefficient of thermal expansion what happens due to high temperature the material will expand so normally the particular material should not expand so we need a material with high dimensional stability and also high strength strength is nothing but withstanding the applied pressure or load without any deformation then also heat resistance that material the heat resistance uh, application of material in heat that material should not subject to any deformation that corrosion resistance is nothing but resistance against corrosion corrosive acids or corrosion environment fatigue and creep resistance electrical and thermal conductivity then cost of the material the cost of the material is the major factor that influences the choice of the material consider a output uh, product the product cost will be half of the our uh, product cost out of uh, 100 rupees nearly 50 rupees will be the cost of the raw material so selection of a proper raw material reduces the cost of the product in other term we cannot tell the cheaper material will all not always will not reduce the cost suppose if you choose a cheaper material we want to choose a processing method which may cost more so optimum you want to balance the cost and also the uh, processing cost we can easily see sometimes it makes the overall cost more than the expensive raw material in combination with low processing cost due to lesser number of operations and lesser scraps the type of material affects the detailed aspect of design and hence the choice of the material as well as the process is selected at the early design stage example whether the material is to be joined by spot welding or screws or rivets must be designed decided in the design stage itself cost of processing if you choose a raw material with low cost the processing cost might go high the cost of processing will be also kept in mind by the material engineer in selecting a product then the next uh, factor is available of material the available of material is the governing factor in selection of materials the desired material the supply is limited then the costly material can be ordered in the ample quantity summary in this lecture we have seen the purpose of testing the development of testing the testing organizations and its committee roles and responsibilities of a material engineer and selection of materials thank you